Episode 302, we, we start with sort of the aftermath of 301 with, with the separation of Jerry and Beth, which was Rick's kind of larger goal or intent. I just wanted to say goodbye to the kids. And the kids, led by Summer with Rick, don't give a fuck, jump into a hole, go off on an adventure. We watch how all that plays out in a Mad Max-esque post-apocalyptic setting. Summer and Morty, I think, are attaining unexpected nourishment from the wasteland because it's a real form of chaos and they're coming from what they perceive as an unnecessary form of chaos, which is their parents' divorce. Listen, Rick, Summer's been acting pretty crazy lately, you know? I mean, I think the divorce is affecting her. Morty thinks that Summer is just going crazy and acting like Rick because of the divorce and she, that she needs to handle it. Morty finds out he wasn't handling it himself and that he's angry at his father. The most heart-churning part for me being when, you know, Morty is shouting something as his arm is beating someone to death. Stop standing in the driveway talking about custody and either tell her you want to stay married or get on with your life, but whatever you do, stop being a baby and act like a man! And, and what he's really saying, he's not saying, why did you break up with my mom? The thing that really bums Morty out is, why did you have to stand there in the driveway like a lonely dog waiting for mom to take you back or not? Why can't you just be a man? Which is politically incorrect, but it's throbbing in the heart of this 14-year-old boy, and this arm is the only thing that's giving that, that feeling. That's why he's so sad when the, when the arm is going is because that, that's become this father figure to him, or at least you know someone who's a strong role model. Whereas his own father, you know, he doesn't even feel like he's really fighting. Summer, by design in that, we always wanted her to have to go through a, almost like a small lifetime. It's almost like getting married when you're 18 and then realizing at 19, like, this might be a mistake. I think it shed a different perspective on, on uh, their relationships with, with their parents. You know, maybe dad just doesn't want you back or maybe he just doesn't have the strength to fight. In, in either case, he's got his life, I got mine. Dad? I wanted to give you this as a reminder not to look back. Thanks. When Summer and Morty reach out to their parents, I think it's a really honest moment of, this isn't all perfect, but we're willing to be along for the ride with you guys and admit that we're not gonna handle it great and you're not gonna handle it great, but like we'll still be a family while we're doing it. 